Hey Alex, I want to show you this about the importance of investing. You're going to be graduating from college this year, and so I wanted to share this with you. This is probably beneficial for Eric and Julia and maybe even some other folks, but basically I, I want to recommend about, this is for a Roth IRA specifically, so what I suggest you do is set up a Roth IRA and then every month buy a um, that share of the stock that you're supposed to get for that month or at least at the slowest once a year you just buy whether the markets up or down you just buy stocks um, this helps you distribute this out and I also recommend that you buy NASDAQ index which tracks the NASDAQ which is kind of tends to be weighted a little bit with tech companies and and companies that are doing newer stuff. So let me just dive real, right in here real quick. Um, basically what happens is I'm saying here in 2020, you're going to be 22, you're going to graduate from college this year. You somehow find a way to get together a thousand dollars and you put it in. And we're going to assume you're not going to get any interest this year. The next year you take that thousand dollars and you contribute uh, three thousand dollars, which is half of what you're allowed to and then we're going to say that you're going to get 10% interest on this thousand dollars, which may or may not be true. That won't happen every year, but generally speaking, that's you can if you do it enough years, it'll work out on this type of long term. So basically, between now and when you're 25, we're saying that you'll donate or contribute. It's not a donation. Contribute three thousand bucks a year as you're kind of getting going with work and stuff. And then once you turn uh, 25 that next year you'll start putting in 6,000 or whatever is allowed at that time in today's world at 6,000 you max it out and the thing about the Roth IRA is that this continues to grow tax-free so you're gonna be able to pull this out and you're not gonna have to pay any taxes you will have to pay taxes on what you contribute over the years but all the interest that comes into it the growth of your stocks you don't you're not taxed on that so that's the beauty of the Roth IRA. So I'm saying until you're 30, I don't know when you're going to get married, but say at 30 your spouse uh, starts to contribute also $6,000 a year. And basically you can see that right there when you hit 30, you would contribute 6000 but just your, your interest or your growth is almost that amount. <clears throat> anyway, by the time you're basically 35 years old, your, your interest, you're up to $160,000, $150,000. Your interest every year is now more than your contribution. Um, and if you just keep doing that until you're about 50 years old, you'll have a million dollars. Okay? And then I put in here that at 50, and this is in today's world, they'll let you bump this up to $14,000 a year. So let's say you do that. Okay? This is a million dollars, and you can see. I mean, you, you would be making, you know, $100,000 a year in just growth and interest. And pretty soon, by the time you're 60, this ends up being like $3 million. And we're talking about not putting in a whole lot of money, okay? Uh, by the time you're 70, you're talking about uh, seven, seven to $8 million in here. So what's interesting is they have some tables. The IRA or the IRS requires that you take out a certain percentage of your uh, IRA every year. This actually is for other IRAs, not Roths. You can actually leave the Roth in. But let's say that you take out, um, you know, kind of what they want you to take out is four or five percent a year. The truth is, is that by the time you get out here to 70, it's so much money you'll never be able to spend it because you could take, you know, $800,000 a year and in today's money and you, it'll never go away. So what we might even do is come back you off here a little bit and just say, uh, you know, I don't even know if you can get, you can take out the money earlier. So, I don't know, we'd have to take a look uh, 
at when you can start to pull the money out. But basically, by the time, I think by the time you get a couple million bucks in here, <clears throat> and you're getting 200000 a year, you just don't necessarily need to make any more contributions. In fact, in my math, by the time you got a million dollars, that would give you $100,000 a year in today's money. That's, that's enough money because you would think that by the time you get up to that amount that you've pretty much got things paid for and stuff's going on. But let's say you, don't, you donate till you're 60. Okay, which in this case would get you up to that three million dollars. So I'm going to zap these uh, these contributions, and it, even so, you can see that the interest just keeps this thing going like crazy. So uh, this this is basically a system that you can be. They call it an automatic millionaire. I'm going to add all this up. You basically have to put in four hundred and twenty thousand dollars over, uh, you know, forty years, and you'd have three million dollars, which would be more than enough money. You'd never have to worry about money your whole life. Um, even if you stopped at fifty, you know, you'd get a hundred thousand dollars a year, which is a very, very comfortable living for a retired person. And so, uh, you know, this is. I'd recommend this to you. This is a great thing. You don't have to worry about real estate investing. You don't have to worry about all these other crazy businesses or anything else. You can have a regular job. You can do whatever you want to do. And if you just make these kinds of donations, it makes a huge difference over uh, a lot of years. So let's say, for example, that you never have your spouse uh, make a contribution and you just do your own contributions in here. then these numbers come down quite a bit, but it, it isn't that huge, as big as you would think. Um, you know, by the time you're 50, you've got $700,000. You know, by the time you're 55, you've got uh, 1.2 million. By the time you're 60, you're right back up here at this 2 million point, which is still giving you, you know, almost $200,000 a year which in my opinion is more than a normal person could even could even use and it'll still grow until you're 70 just off of the interest you know it becomes 5 million dollars so now you have to they want you to start taking this out and they're going to want you to and it's again it's tax free but they're wanting you to take out something like 5% or more a year i mean you would be able to obviously just pull out whatever you want out of this and do whatever you want with it. So uh, this is a great, great way. Roth IRA, uh, make your uh, deposits into it if you can every month. They do something they call dollar cost averaging. If you if you buy every month, then you get the highs and the lows. And when the market goes up and down, you just ride through that. And uh, you don't have to pick stocks. You don't have to try to find the next Tesla or the next Microsoft or anything like that. You just buy one of these index funds and it works.